in module 10 we introduced BIBD and we had some understanding about the parametric relations, the analysis aspect and the expression for the variance of estimated trip treatment differences and why the name balanced is coming in the full explanation of BIBD namely balanced incomplete block design. So, basically it is a connected proper equireplicate binary design with constant variance for the pairwise treatment difference contrasts estimates that is why the name came and we also talked about little bit about the combinatorial properties of the design. And, but as I said there is much more to know about the BIBDs mainly the constructional aspect. So, in this module we will be discussing some aspects of how to construct the designs and when do we know that the design is virtually impossible it does not exist even though the parametric relations are in order still it may be that you simply do not have any design of that type. So, we are going to take up these issues and at least one or two methods we are going to explain describe regarding the construction of BIVDs. So, for the BIBD we have already noted that the expression for the variance of the estimated difference between a pair of treatment effects is given by 2 sigma square by r multiplied by a constant factor which is k into v minus 1 over v into k minus 1. So, now we may go a little further from here. So, the first part 2 sigma square by r that is an expression for the variance of the treatment estimate of the treatment difference in the context of a CRD with replication R or in the context of an RBD with replication R. Because the RBD is an orthogonal design, so there is no difference between the expression for the variance for CRD as against RBD with the same replication parameter R. Therefore, in a BIBD the expression for the variance is this quantity 2 sigma square by r multiplied by the constant factor k into v minus 1 over v into k minus 1. This constant factor is denoted by the letter E and it is referred to as the efficiency of the BIVD. Sir, I can see tremendous uh, simplification in the reduced normal equation for estimation of tau, tau, tau contrasts. Now, it transfers that tau hat uh, is equal to q by e. So, that tau i hat minus tau i prime hat is equal to q i minus q i prime by e for all treatment pairs and for the sum of squares of treatment also simplifies to sum over q i square by e. We are now in a position to prepare the ANOVA table for testing the hypothesis involving tau contrast. Further to this, we can easily construct the extended ANOVA table for testing the other hypothesis re related to block contrast. I believe this is what uh, is referred to as intra block analysis of a BIBD. Maybe that is because within every block, we are working with observational contrast to obtain information on the pairwise treatment effects differences and that seems to be the only source of information for treatment effects differences. Am I right sir? Yes, very much so. It has been proved that for given design parameters B, V, R and K, if there is a BIBD then it will provide constant variance for estimates of all pairwise treatment effects differences. That is what we saw earlier. Yes, sir. No other design will have this feature. It is an if and only if statement. Mm. That is why a BIBD is referred to as a balanced design. Okay. That clarifies its expanded qualification in terms of a balanced design. Okay. So, in effect it is a variance balanced design, binary proper equireplicate incomplete design. So, would you also explain why such designs are combinator, combinatorially challenging to find and if indeed plenty of BIBDs are in fact available to practitioners, 
why should a practitioner at all bother about looking for and then using a BIBD given the design parameters B, V, R, K? Yeah, Sagorika, thanks for raising these issues. Yes, you have got all questions in the right spirit. We will be discussing these points one by one. That BIBDs are combinatorially challenging to find should be clear as soon as we are talking in terms of high values of the design parameters. When you take a very simple example like B equal to 6, V equal to 4, K equal to 2, R equal to 3, we can carefully build upon the definition and we can see that a BIBD with these parameters does exist. It is very trivial to construct. Mm take all pairs of mm. treatments. Again, when B equal to B equal to 21, R equal to K equal to 16, lambda equal to 12, it is almost impossible to get any clue as to the existence of the underlying BIBD if at all. Of course, we can verify the combinatorial relation, parametric relation namely BK equal to VR yeah. that is trivial mm. and lambda into V minus 1 which is 12 times 20 mm. which is 240 mm. R into K minus 1 is 16 times 15. Mm. So apparently you do not see any contradiction mm. but absolutely you have no clue as to whether you can really construct a design with these parameters or not. Okay. So these are the intriguing issues mm. that come up. Mm. There we need help, we need deep combinatorial arguments mm. and in this context the theory of Gallo fields and related constructions of mutually orthogonal Latin squares have been found extremely useful. These are all regarded as pioneering contributions of an Indian mathematician, come statistician, R.C. Bose and his associates. Below we take up the above two examples and provide step by step solutions. For the BIBD with parameters B equal to 6, V equal to 4, R equal to 3, K equal to 2, lambda equal to 1, we have immediate solution as I told you just start writing pairs of treatments, choose pairs of treatments and form the blocks with each pair, that's it. Here we use complete set of mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 4. For the second example, mm -hmm. let's go back to the combinatorial problem. For the second example which involves B equal to V equal to 21, R equal to K equal to 16 and lambda equal to 12, I will take it up and I will thoroughly discuss all the steps that are coming up in the construction of this design. This design does exist and is a highly non-trivial combinatorial construction. Let us go slow on it. So first thing is we start with complete set of mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 4. L1 is the first Latin square of order 4. L2 is the second, L3 is the third, one involves the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, other involves the Greek symbols alpha, beta, gamma, delta, other involves the non symbols A, B, C, D. These three are mutually orthogonal in the sense that if you superimpose L2 on L1, then you can find 1 alpha, 1 beta, 1 gamma, 1 delta, 2 alpha, 2 beta, etc. All combinations will come up exactly once in the superimposition. Same with any pair. Therefore, these are called mutually orthogonal Latin squares. So, we have a set like this which involves altogether four symbols in every mm -hmm. Latin square. Now, we first construct the BIBD with B equal to 20, V equal to 16, R equal to 5, K equal to 4, lambda equal to 1 using the moles as shown above. So, for that basically we start with a 4 by 4 natural square. So this one is a natural square 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. This tells you that you are dealing with 16 treatment symbols yes. over there V equal to 16. Mm. We treat the rows of this square as forming the first set of four blocks. Now in the BIBD that we are referring to, there are altogether 20 blocks involving 16 treatments and the block size is 4, so every block will have size 4. Starting with this natural square, we take the rows of the square, they form the first set of four blocks. Then we take the columns of the square and they form another set of four blocks. So the first set of blocks are obtained by taking the rows of the natural square 
and the second set of four blocks are obtained by taking the columns of the natural square. Those are written as rows here. We still need three additional sets of four blocks. Those are formed with the help of the mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order four that have been displayed above. So the idea is that you superimpose L1 on the natural square and you form blocks of size four by identifying the numbers namely one, the number one you will identify four times in the natural square, the number two also you will identify four times in the natural square, identify the numbers and form start forming blocks. For example, when you look to the first Latin square L1 and we superimpose L1 on this natural square, we find that the number one appears with the numbers 1, 7, 10 and 16 in the natural square. The number 2 of L1 appears with the numbers 2, 8, 9, 15 in the natural square and so on. Therefore, we form the third set of blocks by referring to the numbers in the Latin square and by identifying their corresponding numbers in the natural square. That is how we get the four blocks here 1, 7, 10, 16, 2, 8, 9, 15, etc. Next, we superimpose L2 on the natural square and I will identify the four symbols of L2, namely alpha, beta, gamma, delta, with the numbers in the natural square. And we find that alpha corresponds to 1, 8, 11, 14 in the natural square. Beta corresponds to 2, 7, 12, 13, like that. We have these four rows, again forming the four blocks of the BIUD. Next one is, we have to superimpose the third Latin square L3 and in the above format we find out the last set of four blocks 1, 6, 12, 15 etc. So that is how altogether now we have a solution to the BIBD involving 20 blocks each of size 4. Every treatment occurs exactly 5 times because in every square in every formation every treatment occurs exactly once and there are 5 formations therefore the treatment replication is 5 and one can see that any pair of object treatments they occur together exactly once. So this gives us a BIBD with parameters 20, 16, 5, 4, 1. But now we need to produce, provide one more step to be able to get to the BIBD that we are referring to. Uh, sir, this is definitely interesting. I can see that you must be referring to a general theorem along this line. Now, you must be relating the above BIBD to the one you ultimate want to arrive at. I see for the BIBD with 21, 21, 16, 16, 12, you need block size 16 as against 4. One way would be to consider what I would say as a complementary design, meaning thereby that you work with the complement of every block. Let me see what I am up to. Starting with the BIBD with B is equal to 20, V is equal to 16, R is equal to 5, K is equal to 4 and lambda is equal to 1. If we go for complementation, we end up with B star is equal to B is equal to 20 blocks, V star is equal to V is equal to 16 treatments, R star is equal to 15 and K star is equal to 12. What about constancy of the lambda parameter? Yes, that holds as well with lambda star is equal to 1. I think 11, uh, 11 sorry. Uh, I think I can argue uh, this out. Okay, so we will continue in the next module. Okay, okay. Very sir. good. So we have to complete this part and then we will see what else is coming up. Okay, okay sir. Good. Shagarika, so basically in module 11, we talked about BIVDs. We took up two simple examples one with a small combination of the parameter values B, V, R, K, lambda. Thereby it was very easy either to see yes or no to the construction and we could see the construction right away. Other was less transparent, less obvious. It involved the parameters in a big way and we needed to understand how the thought process should go while constructing this design if at all. We have done all, we have come almost towards the end by taking up a basic working design, a BIBD, by using the concept of mutually orthogonal Latin squares 
and then by using them in constructing a BIBD and still we have not reached till the end that will hopefully come up in the next module and meanwhile we also talked about the analysis aspect and when we took up the BIBD in terms of the questions we th thought of a generalization of BIBD in combination with RBD to what is called a balanced block design. So, balanced block design is a combination of BIBD and RBD that is what we discussed and then we also thought of complementary design of a BIBD and then the sub and then the dual design of a BIBD and we tried to understand how far complementary and the dual designs could still be BIBDs in general. So, these are some of the things that came up in this module. Let us see what we have in the next module. So, Sagarika at this stage let us take up some questions and MCQs. Okay, sir. Uh, so, while we proceed with the construction okay. in the next module, okay. meanwhile we can take up some questions. Okay, sir. Please. Sir, a balanced block design is a combination of an RBD and a BIBD. If the BIBD has parameters like BV, RK, Lambda and if the RBD is repeated S times, then a BIBD has the, and the B, sorry sir, a BBD has the parameters uh, capital B is equal to B, capital V is equal to small v, capital R is equal to small r plus SB and capital K is equal to small k plus SV, where each block of the BIBD is extended by S copies of the RBD with V treatments in B blocks. Thus, block size is extended to k plus SV. So, from this there are three questions. The first one is pro we need to provide intra block analysis of a BBD and display the ANOVA table. So, this is the first one. The second one is we need to work out explicit expressions for variances of estimated pairwise treatment effects differences. And for the third one, we need to justify the name balanced here. Okay. So, as you can see this BBD mm -hmm. balanced block design, mm -hmm. it is an extension of BIBD. Yes. In every block of a BIBD, we are extending the block size. Mm -hmm. From K, we are making it K plus yes. a multiple of V, S times V. Yes. So, we are incorporating all the treatments in mm -hmm. every block mm -hmm. extra S times each. Mm -hmm. Thereby, the block size is extended from K to K plus mm -hmm. SV. Mm -hmm. If that is done, then what we get is an a BBD yes. which involves BIBD and S copies of the RBD. Mm -hmm. That is the whole idea. Mm -hmm. Once you have it, now you go back to our general analysis of a block design, mm -hmm. refer to the C matrix, mm -hmm. you work out the C matrix for this design, mm -hmm. you show that the C matrix has an obviously nice simplification, mm -hmm. and you can work out the expression for sum of squares, everything okay. can be done. Okay. Okay. Once you see the formation of the capital N matrix mm -hmm. and then you can work out C and you can provide the entire analysis. Okay, sir. Note that we are we, we are all the time talking about the treatment sum of squares adjusted and the block sum of squares unadjusted. Mm -hmm. Okay, that yes. is how you get it. Yes. And once you have the expression for the C matrix C plus, mm -hmm. you justify that C plus matrix. C matrix has all the positive eigenvalues equal mm -hmm. and therefore C plus has the same property mm -hmm. and hence all variants Estimates of all the pairwise treatment contrast will have the same variance, mm -hmm. and that is how that, mm, the justification of the name balanced will come. Okay, it is a generalization of BIBD. Mm -hmm. If the block size is more than V, mm -hmm. then you can think of a BBD mm -hmm. extending RBD and extending BIBD. Mm -hmm. That is the whole idea. Yes, sir. The first one is for a BIBD with parameters B, V, R, K, lambda to exist. It is necessary and sufficient that there are four choices. B is always greater or equal to V. V is more than K. R into K minus 1 by V minus 1. And none of the above. These are four of the yeah, options. Maybe question yes. number C seems to be incomplete. Yes. Sir. That should have been R into hmm. K minus 1 over V minus 1 is an integer. Yes, sir. Hmm. And question number D, the option number D is none of the above. Mm. But we have already seen earlier mm. that may are the, even though these combinatorial identities are 
relations are satisfied, mm -hmm. namely B k equal to V r mm -hmm. and lambda into V minus one equal to R into k minus one. It mm -hmm. is not necessary that a design will exist. Okay, okay. So you have to keep that in mind. Okay, okay. okay. This is a very strong statement, necessary and sufficient. Okay. So okay. you have to be careful. Okay, sir. What is the next so question? The next one is a BIBD with parameters P V r k lambda exists if and on, only if the dual design which is obtained by interchanging the roles of blocks and treatments is also a BIBT. And the two options are true, the, the thing, the statement is true provided B is equal to B and the second one is it is always false. Mm, that's an interesting problem. Mm. So let's see, you are given a BIBT mm. and then you interchange the roles of blocks and treatments mm. and you come up with another design. That derived design will also be BIBD provided this thing happens. Mm -hmm. Now, when you interchange the roles of blocks and treatments, what happens is the incidence matrix capital N, mm -hmm. it changes to N transpose. Mm -hmm. Naturally, in capital N you have to treatment cross block incidence. Yes. Mm -hmm. The moment you interchange their role, it becomes block yes. cross treatment. Yes. So, N changes to N transpose. Mm -hmm. And then you have to figure out if with this change, mm -hmm. the new design that you get, if that is still a BIBD, mm -hmm. and for that to happen, is it that it will be true provided B equal to V, or it is always false, it can never be true, etc. Okay? Okay. Uh, here is a third one. Uh -huh. Complementary design of a BIBD mm -hmm. is a BIBD with the same set of parameter values. Mm -hmm. This is the, the statement is always true, mm -hmm. this is sometimes true, and this can never be true. Let's see. Complementary design means you, in any block, whatever treatments you have, you take the complement mm. of that. Mm. So the block size was k, mm. now it becomes v minus k mm. because the total number is v. Mm. Therefore, now from a BIBD, if I take the complementary design, it goes on the other side mm. and that has got block size v minus k. Mm. That is the first thing that mm. is happening. Mm. The complementary design is a BIB with the same set of parameters mm -hmm. that necessarily means k equal to v minus k. Mm -hmm. So, v has got to be equal to 2k. Mm -hmm. yes, so, that is a condition that is needed yes, for the there. BIBD. Yeah. Yes, so, this cannot be always true mm -hmm. because you do not necessarily have v equal to 2k. Okay. Mm -hmm. It can be sometimes true depending on mm -hmm. whether v equal to 2k or not. So, suppose V equal to 2K, mm -hmm. does that mean that the complementary design is still a BIBD? Mm -hmm. That is what you have to figure out. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. First thing is, unless V equal to 2K, it cannot be. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes it may be true if V equal to 2K. Mm -hmm. Even if V equal to 2K, is it a BIBD, mm -hmm. the complementary design? Mm -hmm. That is what you have to figure out. Okay? Okay, okay. Then your answer will be either B or C. Mm -hmm.